Hello. Uh, so, Lenise, I got to tell you, you're, Gabby's my favorite character on the show. I relate, <laughs> I relate so much. Um, I, I ended up being a, a single parent a couple of years back. And then kind of that struggle of trying to let somebody in, not a, a lot of those questions that you asked yourself or something that I found myself asking uh, multiple times. And, and it was it was such a joy to see that portrayed on television, to see both sides of what the kids are going through, but also what the parents are going through. Oh, my gosh. I love to hear that, especially from a man, you know, a father figure. I, I love that. We often, you know, just associate like single parenthood homes, you know, with the mother, but no, it, it, it comes in, in both forms. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that you've connected with Gabby. Um, I think that's important. This is a story and the character that a lot of people will definitely continue to, to relate to. And it's a testament to the writing on the show. You know, it's, it's yeah. so authentic and so real and so inclusive. So I'm really um, happy to hear that. Absolutely. Can, can you talk a little bit about how you developed your character now, especially going into a second season uh, where you see the growth? You know, um, I think that the, I'm just present. I'm just there. Being a mother also, I think for me, it has helped being a mother that is so like Gabby. Gabby and I have a lot of similarities and we're kind of, our lives are sort of parallel in, this, in the sense that I, I was also a single mother for forever. And when someone came into my life, recently I, it was hard for me to like let them in and then it was even harder to really let them in um so I found myself asking the same questions as Gabby and so I was able to dive right into season two because everything was happening at the same time it was kind of freaky and eerie at times but um I'm excited I'm excited to tell to continue telling the stories I hope that we get to see another season so we could see the evolution you know where we leave you know season two with Bobby coming out and and Elena continuing to um grow and and find her voice and Gabby finding her own life with Sam I think it's going to be really interesting and a lot of uh, families definitely will be able to connect with us this season. Absolutely. One thing that I've liked about the show, first and second season, second season actually was, was a point when it didn't happen. Can you talk about the importance of portraying the uh, lines of communication between parents and kids? My gosh, communication with your kids is everything. I, you know, have a an 18 year old daughter who is off to college soon. And okay. I would say that we've always had a really open line of communication, which has been life saving for both of us. Um, you have to allow your child to come to you with even the most uncomfortable of all things um, because it's the only way to continue to have them grow up to be healthy adults later on. You know, the saddest thing for me is to hear a young child say, I can't talk to my parents about that. I can't say that to my mother. I can't say that. To, oh my God, they would freak out. I think that that's just, you're, you're shutting yourself off from your child's life. And that's the last place you should be. You should not be on the other side of their life. You should be in it as involved as possible. Um, because that that's the healthy the healthiest people come out of really good relationships with their parents. What, what do you what do you hope uh, parents watching this uh, maybe with their kids or maybe on their own uh, take take away from a diary of future of a future president? I hope they take away for for young people that anything is truly possible. You know that 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 you can dream big and and achieve even bigger. And I think for for parents, I hope that they take away the importance of open lines of communication with your children and, and letting them be their themselves, you know, and, uh, and for those single mothers and fathers out there, I'm hoping that Gabby and Sam are giving you permission to find love again and not to feel guilty when you do um, because you're not letting go of your kids. You're enhancing your life mm -hmm. so that you can be better parents to them. Yeah, and I can second that answer because I, yeah. I um, just to let you know, I'm, I'm probably going to be going through that, that uh, what Gabby and Sam go through in the first episode, that big decision. <laughs> I it, love it. It. Right. it has been an enhancement and it has been fantastic. And to see to see it portrayed 
on the screen. Yeah. Uh, really has made me feel very, very good. So thank you. Oh. Well, congratulations to you. And I hope <laughs> it works out beautifully. And I think it will, as long as you, um, you know, continue to open yourself up. I think as parents, we always feel so guilty, right? For having our own lives. But right. when we're happy, we're happier and better parents for sure. Absolutely. Sandys, thank you for, so much for your time. Thank you for your role. And uh, you. we hope to see you again. Thank you. Best of luck. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.